Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We have been uh, discussing about olefin uh, polymerization, uh, particularly we have looked into ethylene polymerization as well as uh, propylene polymerization uh, in the last few lectures. And uh, there we have looked mainly into homopolymerization of uh, these two monomers ethylene and propylene. What it means that uh, ethylene uh, mono, uh, polymerizes to give polyethylene and uh, uh, propylene polymerized to give uh, polypropylene and uh, these are uh, 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 what is uh, uh, called uh, uh, this homopolymerization. Now in the last class we have also looked into the other possibilities of uh, 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 doing copolymerization. Copolymerization can be of, uh, of two different monomers, they can be both olefins uh, uh, like ethylene and propylene, ethylene 1 hexane or ethylene alpha olefins and so on and so forth or uh, they can be of uh, uh, ethylene uh, and uh, uh, alpha olefin bearing functional groups. Now the main challenges which we have encountered is that uh, these uh, uh, particularly for ethylene uh, uh, alpha olefin polymerization, the main challenges which was encountered was the rate of uh, polymerizations are not the same for the two uh, monomers. Uh, for example, uh, for Ziegler-Natta catalysis uh, uh, as well as the metallocene catalysis, uh, the ethylene homo, uh, homopolymerization is much uh, higher. Uh, at a much higher rate than the alpha olefin homopolymerization. Whereas in metallocene catalyst uh, the difference is not that extent, however still uh, uh, the, uh, it is uh, less acute than the difference what is present in, uh, um, uh, present in uh, 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 Ziegler-Natta uh, catalyst, but still nonetheless uh, uh, they, they are there that rate of uh, homo, uh, homopolymerization of ethylene. Uh, is uh, higher than the rate of homopolymerization of alpha olefins. Now when it comes to uh, copolymerization of ethylene uh, with uh, alpha olefins bearing uh, functional group, it is even more challenging because uh, the uh, heteroatoms of the functional group uh, compete with the ethylene uh, uh, binding for uh, which occurs at the polymerization site. As a result, the presence of uh, uh, functional group also uh, uh, poisons the catalyst for further polymerization. And this uh, poisoning uh, is more significant for a heterogeneous Ziegler-Natta type catalyst uh, than it is for metallocene uh, based ones and uh, a, that is uh, uh, what uh, uh, was the main uh, drawback uh, is that uh, the polymerization of functional monomers uh, were in fact poisoning the catalyst. Uh, however, nonetheless in the last lecture we had seen this nice example. Uh, uh, where uh, for zirconising uh, catalyst Weymouth uh, successfully uh, homopolymerized heteroatom bearing uh, uh, functional groups. Hmm. like that it goes and uh, this is the uh, repeat unit. Uh, so uh, the good thing is uh, uh, this was uh, reported by Weymouth. Uh, Weymouth in uh, 1992 and what this work is about is work is about uh, homo, homo polymerization of alpha olefins bearing functional group uh, using uh, uh, metallocene catalyst. Uh, 
using metallo uh, the catalyst using uh, the uh, the uh, metallos in uh, uh, the catalyst uh, and uh, these were isotactic uh, albeit in modest yield now this is a uh, interesting uh, result because uh, this for the first time showed uh, that uh, for uh, using metallos in catalyst uh, this uh, poisoning of the uh, metallos in catalyst with uh, this uh, kind of uh, functional group uh, uh, did not uh, does not happen uh, that significantly and one is able to uh, obtain uh, this uh, homopolymerization of uh, alpha olefin functionalized polymer uh, in large uh, yield. Now, uh, that uh, is a significant discovery and that led to uh, the discovery uh, of uh, uh, an important uh, catalyst which are called uh, uh, which are half sandwich complexes and which are called uh, constrained geometry catalyst. Uh, hmm. Half sandwich complexes of uh, CP at metal amide types uh, exhibited a, a, a high catalyst activity for ethylene homopolymerization and ethylene copolymerization with alpha alkenes. Now, this uh, was a interesting uh, discovery, uh, the Weymouth uh, discovery way back uh, in 1992, uh, which sort of uh, said that uh, the metallocene uh, uh, based uh, com complexes are indeed tolerant towards functional group. And as a result, a further modification led to uh, extremely active uh, uh, half sandwich complexes, uh, which showed uh, very high catalyst activity for ethylene homopolymerization as well as ethylene alpha olefin copolymerization. Uh, the let me uh, illustrate this with a particular example. where R equals CH to pH and uh, uh, the here uh, titanium is in plus 4 state and this uh, gives the following Me two SI nickel debutyl titanium. Actually, there is a activation of the methyl group as is shown here. and overall uh, there is a positive charge 
and the benzyl group is abstracted on boron uh, which has a negative charge. So, overall uh, this is a titanium 4 compound, but it is a cationic in nature and there is this anion uh, and uh, in the course of formation of this uh, uh, the first is the uh, benzyl abstraction uh, benzyl abstraction uh, which goes on to boron as is observed over here and the second is uh, elimination of uh, minus uh, uh, ph ch3 a one benzyl group uh, abstracts uh, uh, activates a methyl proton, the other one activates a methyl proton and uh, eliminates as uh, toluene uh, to give this uh, cationic complex. Now, these uh, cationic complex is uh, extremely a good catalyst both for uh, ethylene as well as uh, for polyethylene uh, which ethylene uh, it could produce uh, molecular weight get uh, then 10 to the power 6 uh, Dalton uh, and ultra high, uh, high uh, molecular uh, weight polyethylene uh, uh, and uh, 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 with uh, uh, olefins. Uh, uh, it could uh, uh, do copolymerization. So, this is extremely good catalyst for uh, polyethylene copolymer 1 hexene uh, in greater than uh, 30 percent yield. Uh, this is 30 percent incorporation and hexene less than uh, uh, 70 percent incorporation. So, extremely good uh, catalyst for uh, polyethylene, uh, uh, polyethylene as well as alpha olefin incorporation and this catalyst is called uh, constraint geometry catalyst. Constraint geometry catalyst, uh, it has uh, three features. Uh, uh, the first one is electron deficiency. Uh, the, the, this species has uh, total uh, valence electron uh, less than equal to 14. So, extremely uh, electron deficient uh, species. Uh, the second uh, there is a free coordination site. Site in presence of in vicinity of a growing polymer chain and third is a, a positive a positive charge complex and this prevents uh, uh, suppresses deactivating dimerization dimerization process reactions and facilitates uh, olefin coordination. So, uh, uh, these uh, are uh, very important notable uh, uh, features uh, of this constraint geometry catalyst that is uh, extremely electron deficient, uh, then it has a free coordination site and also being positively charged uh, 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 that uh, it uh, suppresses uh, deactivation pathway and facilitates olefin bonding. Uh, and these are so good that it could produce uh, 
ultra high molecular weight polyethylene polymer of about a million molecular weight, huge molecular weight. And also it could produce ethylene one hexene copolymer with about 70 percent incorporation of ethylene and 30 percent incorporation of uh, polyethylene. So, this uh, uh, is an important uh, example and this uh, was uh, reported by Marx, Tobin, Professor Tobin Marx in 1997, extremely uh, good uh, uh, catalyst. And the fourth uh, uh, feature of this is that uh, it has a steric bulk. Mm -hmm. Fourth feature of uh, uh, this is uh, it has a, a steric, uh, a steric bulk. Uh, Uh, that uh, also uh, 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 takes care uh, for this uh, alpha uh, high molecular weight polymer. Uh, this is illustrated uh, 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 just spoken about hmm. and uh, uh, another uh, important uh, uh, quality is that uh, so, uh, we have spoken about uh, copolymerization of two units uh, where uh, uh, this constant geometry could polymerize uh, uh, ethylene as well as alpha olefin and then a tar polymer or polymerization of three units. Uh, uh, important tar polymer uh, is uh, E. P uh, DM uh, uh, is obtained from ethylene, propylene and uh, non-conjugated and uh, 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 non-conjugated uh, diene. Uh, example is 1 for uh, hexadiene um, and these uh, uh, are, uh, are uh, polymerized uh, by uh, VOCl3 uh, based uh, ziegler natta catalyst. catalyst as well as metallocene catalyst. Uh, EPDM behaves as an elastomer. And is similar to natural rubber in properties. So, uh, here we had spoken about uh, in the previous uh, uh, slide we have spoken about uh, uh, the polymerization of two different uh, uh, monomers, one is alpha olefins and ethylenes uh, and then now we are talking about polymerization of three uh, different monomers, one is ethylene another is alpha olefin and uh, 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 non conjugated uh, diene uh, three three different monomers uh, and these are uh, done can be done both as a heterogeneous way where uh, it is your VOCl3 based ziegler natta catalyst as well as by metallocin catalyst. These EPDM or the tar polymer are elastomeric in nature and behave similar uh, like that of the uh, rub rubbers. Uh, so, uh, this is an interesting example. Uh, uh, where three different monomers uh, could be uh, uh, polymerized to obtain something which is of uh, natural rubber. So, in this uh, regard uh, uh, another interesting property uh, which uh, 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 we would be talking about is that of uh, uh, polycyclo uh, polycycloolefins.
Now, uh, they can be uh, polycyclolefins can be obtained in two ways. Uh, uh, polycyclolefins can be obtained in uh, a two uh, two ways, and the uh, the, uh, uh, the first. Uh, 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 is uh, uh, important uh, suitable it should be a, a suitable catalyst suitable catalyst uh, to be chosen such that uh, a metathesis is in opening meta thesis reaction is uh, uh, suppressed uh, uh, and then uh, this was uh, uh, reported by Kashiwawa uh, uh, Kashiwawa in 1988 and the reaction is given as follows So, uh, this uh, the first is a, a, a dil solder reaction. Uh, first is a dil solder reaction uh, uh, to uh, uh, give this uh, multicyclic species. as is shown here. And that in reaction with uh, ethylene and Rio Cl2 Et3Cl3 or a metallocene catalyst gives this cyclic polyolefin. Uh, which is uh, given over here of ethylene and uh, over here and uh, uh, what uh, is seen uh, over here there are two things first is the polymerization of uh, uh, the two units uh, one unit is uh, uh, this alpha olefin and the other unit so these two units are uh, shown over here this being the first uh, oh, uh, sorry uh, uh, these two units are uh, showing, uh, shown over here, uh, this being the first and uh, this being the second ethylene unit and this being the first, uh, these two got copolymerized uh, 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 to give these uh, uh, cyclo polycyclolefins mm -hmm. to give uh, 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 polycyclo 
polyphen uh, polymers and uh, the power property wise uh, important properties uh, they are thermostable Uh, uh, one is uh, thermostable uh, the second uh, is transparent and third uh, 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 is uh, 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 minimally uh, by refringent ref uh, ringent uh, and advantage over polymethylates and polycarbonates uh, uh, and used uh, used for cds compact digs uh, uh, um, uh, and magne magnetic storage storage materials uh, so, uh, these uh, polycyclic olefins again uh, are copolymerization of two olefins, one is cyclic, another is ethylene to give this and they have important properties like th uh, thermostable, transparent, minimally uh, uh, refringent and also uh, are used for CD and magnetic storage uh, uh, applications. Uh, so, uh, uh, with this uh, we come to the end of today's uh, discussion. Uh, in today's class uh, we have looked into the copolymerization uh, 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 strategy uh, of uh, 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 olefins uh, and alpha olefins and uh, the main challenges uh, arise uh, in this area for two uh, from two aspects. One is uh, that uh, um, the rate of uh, polymerization of the two monomers one is ethylene as well as the other is alpha olefins are different and it so turns out that alpha olefins are more slower than the olefins in terms of conventional Ziegler Nata catalyst. However, uh, in using metallocene catalyst one can have a less acute difference of the activity of alpha olefins as well as uh, uh, ethylenes. And what we have discussed today is about the advent of uh, constraint geometry catalyst which could produce ultra high molecular weight polyethylene of about uh, higher than 1 million weight. Uh, Dalton and also it could uh, successfully copolymerize ethylene and hexene uh, with about uh, higher incorporation about 70 percent or greater incorporation of hexene and about 30 percent or uh, so incorporation of ethylene in its copolymer. We have also spoken about uh, uh, moving going beyond the polymerization of two monomers to polymerization of three monomers and uh, we have spoken about tar, poly, uh, tar polymer uh, from ethylene propylene and 1,4-hexadiene. And then finally, we have looked into uh, polycycloolefins uh, 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 which are usually which are material of importance for uh, magnetic applications. They are thermostable, transparent uh, and minimally by uh, refringent, uh, refringent and uh, they are produced uh, uh, by two pathways. We have discussed one of them which involves uh, using catalyst that will uh, not uh, uh, promote uh, ring opening metathesis uh, reactions uh, and hence uh, uh, first uh, there uh, uh, we have seen one example by Kashawa uh, where first a dill solder reaction and subsequent polymerization with VO uh, OET Cl2 uh, in presence of aluminum ethyl reagent or metallocene catalyst that could give uh, these uh, polycycloolefin polymers. Uh, so, with this uh, uh, we come to an end of today's class more on discussion about uh, uh, various uh, applications of uh, these uh, copolymerization uh, uh, with uh, olefins and alpha olefins as well as with functional monomer as we uh, continue this discussion in the next class. Till then goodbye and thank you.